Blessed morning, collective. How's it going? How are you feeling in this energy? I want to pull an update. I want to pull on the soulmate cycle. Why? Because it's fun. That's it. That's the whole spiel. Mars goes into Libra today. And it does feel like a shift. Uh, the ego energies have felt very chaotic, very hectic, very out of balance, sort of in the fray, so to speak, with all of the Virgo influence. Mars having been in Virgo for a significant period of time, and then Mercury in Virgo, which just went retrograde, and then the Sun moving into Virgo as we enter Virgo season, that's a lot of that same sort of controlling type of influence, likes to have things in order, likes things to make sense, to fit into place, to fit into boxes, <laughs> likes things to be just so. Uh, and it's, it, it's a lot that's been a heavy influence. It's been stressing ego out because things don't work that way. <laughs> Life does not work that way. Life, love, the soul, consciousness does not fit in a box. It does not go according to plan. It follows the divine plan, natural order, and when we can open ourselves to that flow and consciously, willingly surrender to and become part of it, a conscious, deliberate creator with it, then it feels really good. Then there's no stress. It just is what it is and we're moving with it. But it's been a lot of tension, a lot of that control energy butting up against <laughs> the higher powers saying, no, you don't have control. That's not how this works. And the more that you try to control, the more things control you. It's time to let that go. With this movement of Mars into Libra, it feels like, well, a little bit of a blow from ego's perception because ego tends to perceive surrender as defeat, right? As a loss, it's not, it's your greatest power. It's not a weakness in any sense. It is your greatest strength, vulnerability, true, radical, earnest, purposeful vulnerability is invulnerability. It is what moves you into the place of unshakable, the place of peace. When you're surrendered, you're not fighting. When you're not fighting, you can't be defeated. You just don't play the game. You just don't fight. You don't struggle. You don't add to suffering. Why? Because it's suffering and because you're tired of it. Ego is so tired of it. It's so, so very tired. It wants peace. It wants to make peace and not war anymore. I don't know if it's consciously realizing it or not, but it's at least beginning to come to terms in some way with the truth that the more it fights against itself, the more it perpetuates itself. Whatever we resist persists. The more that we push against ego, that we push against mind, that we tell it it shouldn't be there, or that it's wrong, or that it should change, it should be some other way, we tell it it's inappropriate, we reject it. All of that is just more ego. All of that is just more mind. All of it just keeps the loop running. It keeps the pattern on repeat. The way out, the way through is around, is acceptance of this. No longer using the mind to sort through the mind. <laughs> you, can't, you can't get out of mind with more mind. You can't get out of ego with more ego. You step back, step back into the true place, the place of the soul, the place of pure awareness, of consciousness, of presence. And you just say, okay, mind is, ego is, anything else, any other words added, any other descriptors, characterizations, judgments, because that's ultimately what they are, are illusion. They're just more mind. They're just more ego. The truth is, the only truth is that mind is, it exists. Ego is, it exists. That's it. If you can accept that, then you're home free. You're free. 
You don't need to rid yourself of mind. That is what mind thinks. Presence knows mind is not a barrier to awareness. Ego is not a barrier to awareness. Resistance is not a barrier to awareness, to presence, to peace, to enlightenment. It can't be. It's just more presence. The presence of anything is just more presence. You focus on that, you allow the presence to be. You witness it, you say, this is present. It is. I witness presence. I'm witnessing more of self. And it becomes easy to accept because you're not adding all of this illusory burden, the burden of description, <laughs> of labeling. You're distilling it to its essential form and then you see exactly what it is, which is, it just is. You see that it just is. You see this is same as self. You see this is just more of self. And you can accept it. And then you're free flowing. You're offering no resistance and therefore generating no suffering and experiencing no suffering. Even as ego experiences suffering, you're not because you're letting it happen. I want to pull a reading. I don't know what's going to come out. I have no idea, but it feels like there's been some kind of shift. Let's see. I am pulling on the soulmate cycle as a sample for general collective. Specifically is influenced by the current energies. Mars moving into Libra. Everything else comes with it. It just does. It's all attached. Ace of Cups at the bottom. It's underneath that. Mm-hmm. That's why I didn't want to say anything. Yeah, it is flowing. It's flowing. And it's freaking people out. Because that Virgo energy... I, I'm not shitting on Virgos. It's just a frequency of energy. There's, there's a very beneficial side to Virgo energy as well. But it tends to be a lot of this. It's missing the bigger picture because it's so buried in the details. <sighs> For a long time, the thing that we've been taught societally was not to show emotion. And more than that, not to feel emotion. <laughs> to shut it down. That somehow the feeling and flowing and expression of emotion it was a mistake that that's where the self-sabotage took place the sabotage happens when you repress the emotion when you put the kibosh on it you put the block on it and then it doesn't have a way to naturally move through you and because it can't move through you it starts to build it starts to toxify until it explodes until it drives you not just to let it out, but to let it out violently, abruptly, in an eruption. More than that, it keeps us stuck in cycles. If we don't allow the emotions to be felt, they're doomed to repeat. Whatever emotion you have shut down, shoved down within yourself, wants to come out. Especially if it was the result of some situation, really your perception of that situation. But having experienced something, which by the perception of the experience generated an emotion, an emotion that was unpleasant, then that emotion was not allowed to be felt. That just means that situation keeps coming back. <laughs> because we never let go of it. We have to feel the emotion to complete that process. Yeah. It's all built up. It's just, it, it creates a dam. And until that dam is broken, this just continues. It, it continues, it's just a wall. It's a wall and it feels insurmountable. It has to break. It has to break loose. It has to come through. It has to be felt. The denial of ego, the denial of emotion is not healthy. 
it's not trying not to have emotions. It's not pretending that they're not there. It's honoring and accepting that they're there. Having the, the space of awareness that this is not you. This is a part of your experience. But your sense of self, your identity is not all wrapped up in it. And so it's allowed to happen and you are not diminished in any way by allowing it to happen. It doesn't affect you. It doesn't mean anything about you truly. But when the sense of self is derived from ego, from the mind made self, it feels very scary. It feels like a loss of self. Well, let that loss happen. Let ego feel that. Let ego feel the blow. It's not wrong. It's not wrong to feel anything that it's feeling, including diminished. <laughs> it's the only way this comes to resolve. If we want to reach the calmer waters, we got to go through the choppy waters. That's it. That's how it works. <sighs> there is a lot of emotion that's been trying to come up. It has been, and it, it is in many, many individuals. In many more, the suppression of it has become more and more extreme. I shouldn't say many more, in many. But that, that pressure is just, <laughs> it's not gonna stop building. It's not. Ultimately, everybody chooses to stop suffering. Ultimately, everybody realizes we've been doing this to ourselves by our fear. First of all, our, our mistaken identification of self with the mind. That's a big part of this. Thinking that you're the voice in your head, thinking that you are this image, this concept, this idea, and not you. <laughs> essentially associating with the label as opposed to the experience of yourself. And then the label tells all kinds of stories. The label, when you are identified with it, feels very threatened all of the time. If there is anything that is in question about that label, that mind-made identity, it fights back against it. And a big part of the modern identity is that of being unfeeling, of, of having it all together, right? Unemotional. Oh, people are so sensitive. I'm not sensitive. I have thick skin right? I can, I can take it. <sighs> That's just more ego. And it just, it, it makes us sick. It makes us absolutely sick. If you are experiencing emotion, that experience needs to be honored. That is self expressing. It is right it is allowed. It is not wrong. Doesn't mean anything more than that. <laughs> the same way that electricity flowing through a power line doesn't mean anything. But it needs to flow. It wants to flow. That's what it does. And if you try to interrupt that process, you get shocked. You get burned. Uncomfortable things happen. <laughs> This emotional energy wants to resolve, and it feels like it is. But we've, we're still questioning it, even as it's happening. I mean, that's okay. That, that's not going to stop it from happening. That's just making the process more uncomfortable. The same way, again, if you try to stop electricity by holding onto a live wire, you're not going to stop that electricity. It's going to flow through you, and it will electrocute you, and it will find its way out to the other side where it was already trying to go and would have gone if you just let that process happen. It's, it's emotional electrocution. It, 
King of Pentacles on top. I'm not sure exactly what that is saying. It, it, it feels confusing. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know. It's, it's a confused, it's like, why am I feeling all of this? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Why? Yeah, because of these connections. Yes. But at a higher level, because it's time. It's time to feel. Because it's time for everybody to feel. It's time to stop shoving emotion away. To let it happen. To stop questioning it. To stop asking it to explain or justify itself. And accept that it is. An emotion is a part of your present experience. If you are feeling an emotion, that is a part of your present experience. Do not shut it down. Embrace it. Accept it. It is helpful to take the step back and recognize why the emotion is being generated because of a perception, because of a thought that happened. And then to recall, to bring into your awareness by broadening it, you're just, you're expanding awareness. The more things you bring into it, the bigger your awareness is becoming, right? The more that you are including in your awareness, the bigger it becomes. We are, we are endeavoring to be the all-inclusive aware self, which is the true self. So just keep bringing things in. That means not pushing anything out. Nothing is excluded. The emotion is included, the experience, the thought, the reaction, the awareness that this reaction is because of ego, it's ego's reaction, the awareness that ego is the mind made self, the awareness that all of this is okay, that nothing is wrong, that this self exists, this mind made self, ego, is. That's it. Let it be. <laughs> Let it be what it is. And you just you just keep stepping back and saying, okay, this is what's happening. This is a part of the this is the present moment manifesting. This is self manifesting. Let all of it happen. Keep stepping back the awareness. What you are truly and what you only realize more and more as you allow this all inclusive awareness to occur to be felt is that that is you. You are the awareness. You are the watcher. You are the observer, the listener. And so nothing there actually really means anything. Again, the same way that electricity flowing doesn't mean anything, but it wants to flow. That's it. That's the whole purpose. Let it flow. It's there to flow. Appreciate that it is. Electricity is. It exists. Witness it. My goodness. My goodness. My goodness. There's a lot of emotion that just wants to come out, all of that shuffling, and it just came straight back. Straight back, straight back, yeah. There's a lot of emotion that wants to flow, that's been held back, that's been cut off. That's the short-sighted move. That's missing the bigger picture. The bigger picture, the broader awareness that emotion is just energy, energy just wants to flow. That is it. You let it flow. It's all good. It takes care of itself. A fool. With eight broken cups underneath. It's time to move away from this behavior. That's the self-sabotage. Holding in emotion is self-sabotage. It's that simple. It is preventing the self, sabotaging the self, from doing that which it naturally desires to do. Express, flow, move, grow, expand. When we hold on to emotion, instead of letting it be felt in the moment, it just stays stuck. It just, it simmers, it festers. And it keeps us there and it, it keeps adding to itself. That's how the pain body, the shadow, the collective egregore forms. Because of emotions shut down, shoved away, 
And because that energy didn't get to flow through you and dissipate, transmute, return back to just pure presence, it stayed in that form. And all forms are unstable. All forms ultimately decay. They become imbalanced, cancerous, toxic, poisonous. They become, I want to use the word, demented. That, that's it's not the nicest word. But they, they become deranged. <laughs> because energy is... It, it's made to flow. It's how the universe works. By the perpetual death and rebirth of all things, it stays in balance. It knows eternal life. When the forms are clung to, and forms include emotions, forms include thoughts, these are just other forms, when those forms are not allowed to express and experience and be born fully in the moment, live out their natural lifespan and then pass away and return to presence to the unmanifested which all form is born from and returns to and ultimately is because form itself is an illusion besides the point when that's not allowed to happen the forms get twisted and they cling to each other and so all of this unexpressed emotion becomes stuck, becomes trapped, and the next time that emotion comes up and generates more of itself, originally that process occurs with the intention of helping you release that stuck emotion. But as you, as the ego continuously represses it, it just adds to this stockpile, to this dam, this blockage, of similar frequency emotion and now that emotion takes on a life of its own it becomes a mass it becomes a, a cancerous mass of energy that is now trying to feed itself and is self-destructive at the same time <laughs> uh, okay Overall energy of the reading. The Fool just came back again. And as I'm shuffling, out jumps the Ace of Wands in reverse. Which feels like everything that was just described. This wand is growing, right? It's, a, it's alive. It has life sprouting forth from it the way that it naturally should. It's been repressed. The natural expression of things has been repressed and it's, it's creating this How do I feel that it, at this point it's actually almost like a cave in. As opposed to an explosion, it's like an implosion is the way that this feels. Ego is collapsing in on itself. Shadow is collapsing in on itself. And this sort of cave in at the repressed allowance of expression is revealing everything. This is, this is very interesting. It's not all bursting forth. But it's being, it's like everything else has been stripped away. And now this is here. It's been, it's just been laid bare. There's, there's a lot to just this one piece here. Um, but I want to keep going. We'll clarify. What's in the 3D energy? Knight of Swords. It's time to move. It is communication. It's discussion. But it's really, it's time to actually move on to move forward to take a step and part of that is uh, this is it's almost like we are being carried like even if we're not there's a desire here there's a desire in the 3d for sure to actually take action but it is as if the action is occurring to us there's a little bit of a tower feeling between these um almost like being 
on an ice float. And that portion of the portion of ice on which you are standing just breaks loose and detaches and is now carrying you away. And so you're not actually moving, but you're being moved. Something happened. Something happened here. I'm getting, there's a song called, I think there's been an accident here. Um, guess what this feels like? Something happened that has just created this separation. It almost feels like a dissociative break, which is good, which is an excellent thing, which helps us to create that sense of separation. It helps us see the false self. It helps us see this, this self that I had been identified with is not me, and it doesn't feel like me. And now I have this sense of distance and I realize all of this is just made up and it doesn't feel good <laughs> and it's time to move away it is time to move away from this identification with false self it's time to move away from the pretense it's time to move away from the suppression of emotion it's time to move away from the inhibition from the judgment there's a lot here what's in the soul ace of cups yeah because the soul is flowing because of this ace of cups that will not go away <laughs> nor will this fool i mean overall energy oh i have a sneeze it's time for this to come out <laughs> excuse me <laughs> Pardon me. Anyway, who's thinking about me? Uh, it's just, nothing is coincidence. It, it, something just comes out. Comes up and sort of falls out. Very nonchalantly very lackadaisical it's just a because there's this there's this sense of dissociation of just i don't i don't care something happened something broke here there's there is something in between this ace of wands and this knight of swords um i'm gonna keep pulling but I, i'm holding those apart and i'm gonna pull on that space too what's the hidden energy of the universe <laughs> justice yeah something happened I'm telling you, I don't know, this plays out differently for everybody. And I'm speaking in very broad terms, something happened energetically, for sure. But that plays out in physical manifestation. It's just, it's justice. It's so, what happened, the black cat and the white cat had a conversation, as Steve's love tarot likes to express. Something internal likely also something external but it's more about there was there was a meeting within a meeting of mind and heart some sort of revelation some sort of new understanding of gosh yeah this is not it this isn't working this isn't this isn't right this doesn't feel right I'm not talking about moral judgment ethical that kind of thing i'm talking about the, the true rightness which is what we feel intuitively. This doesn't feel right. Something doesn't feel right here. And it, it clicked, or it is clicking. What's in the final outcome? I got two cards. I They came out together. That's big. Liberation from something long-term. And it's a, it's a deeply spiritual change, whether or not that's consciously realized or recognized as such. Holy moly, um, there is so much energy here. Just... <sighs> Exodus energy, liberation from something long-term, divorcing ourselves, divorce is just a vocabulary word, so is marriage, for that matter. Uh, divorcing ourselves from something, from a way of being, in large part from this emotional repression from the identification with the mind-made self, from the suppression of the mind-made self, which is where the emotion stems from. See, it's allowed. It's allowed to be. It's not wrong. It's important. It's beautiful. 
that is still self-expressing. It's just not authentic self. It's not the core self. It, this is this is a challenge itself to express. <coughs> Excuse me. Because it's not you, but it is part of you. <laughs> it is not your essential self, but it is a part of the self. And it is right to be as it is. And it does not keep us from knowing ourselves, our true self. In fact, it only can benefit and enhance that and support that. And the way it does that is by being what it is and us not asking it to change. Us standing in the place of self, full alignment with our power, the true authentic aware being, the state of being, and just witnessing and saying, look at this self expressing, how beautiful. It doesn't threaten me. Ultimately, it is just an expression of self. It's just a form. It's temporary. And it... It's not serious, but it is sacred. Right? It's sacred because it is. Because it is. That's it. So let me accept that it is. Let me honor and witness this marvel of being exactly as it is it need not change it need not be any other way than what it is and by my embrace of this i embody my authentic self i am engaged in presence i am feeling and flowing with my own energy and the energy of all i'm good i'm stable i'm secure i'm self-satisfied self-sustained all of these things and meanwhile ego hasn't changed because it doesn't need to change <laughs> Mind hasn't changed, it has not gone anywhere, there's nowhere for it to go. It's here and now, like everything. When we accept everything that is here and now, and that it is here and now, there's no resistance, there's no suffering. There just is what is. It's time for a new start. It's time to, uh, I, I wanna say replace the starter in this engine. <laughs> It's been choking and choking and choking and it, it's time to just try something else to stop doing the same old thing To drop it completely to just let it go let Yeah, God almighty the world under the fool. That's a big change. It is time for a big change And because I just saw it it wanted to reveal itself the three of cups with that five of swords on top there's a discussion, there's an understanding, there's an internal discussion happening about, about this. About how we've let things stop us. How we've let things hold us back. The fear of emotional expression has held us back. That's something we want to express. It's driving us now to have this desire to express. <sighs> I do want to, no. Shit. Well, okay. <laughs> There's still this gap here. You can't see the cards, but I have a gap between this reversed Ace of Wands and the Knight of Swords. That Five of Swords lives in that gap to a certain extent. That's a part of what happened here this realization. I don't know what it is that happened that created this realization, but something happened that allowed us to realize the emotional suppression is where we've gone wrong. Allowing fear to guide us, allowing ego to guide us, which is what happens when you're identified as ego. Again, it's not about denying the existence of ego it's just about understanding this isn't you this is not a thing that you need to listen to you you listen to it as in you witness it you hear it you allow it to speak you ask it to speak you just don't align with it and let it live through you the moon is a lot coming up coming in out of the shadows it's underneath that yeah my god a lot coming up uh, secrets 
Secret secrets are no fun. Secret secrets hurt someone. You know, the, the one that they hurt is the self. Ultimately, we're all the same self, but truly, keeping things from anybody, it's just, uh, especially trying to keep things from yourself, trying to keep things, truths about yourself out of your own conscious awareness, trying to ignore ego, trying to ignore the emotion, trying to pretend it's not there, to push it away, to push the thoughts away, that does not work. That does not work. What we resist persists, and it persists more and more powerfully. That resistance actually adds to ego, to mind, to shadow. The key is the acceptance. That's how we moved about it. This is, there's a desire to move on from this. We want to get to that calmer water. And there's the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, this is, it's all coming up. And there's the King of Pentacles again, and the Hierophant underneath. A long-term falseness with self, dishonesty with the self, denial of the self, denial of everything that we felt. Denying ego is not the same as acceptance of ego. <laughs> The denial of it, the pretending it's not there, ego will just make another identity out of that. Because that is ego. It's only ego that denies itself. It's only ego that says, this, this is wrong. This shouldn't be here. This is a problem, right? Only ego, only the mind casts those kinds of judgments, casts any judgment. That is resistance. That continues that cycle, that perpetuates suffering. The way to release that and to be liberated from mind and from ego is to stop fighting it, is to stop pretending that it's not there, to stop saying that it shouldn't be there, to acknowledge this is, it is, and it's allowed to be. All is as all should be. That includes the mind, that includes ego. It's, it is self expressing, it's not wrong. When you can step into the place of broader awareness where you are inclusive of this, you are allowing deliberately of this, you're aware. This is not, this is not the seat of consciousness. This is that which I am observing. And I allow it to be. I witness, I honor, I accept this as a part of the present manifested now moment. And now, the witness of ego becomes a way for me to go more deeply into the now, for me to go more deeply into myself, my true self, to engage more fully with myself. Ego becomes a passageway. Mind becomes a passageway. The presence of thought, the presence of resistance, the presence of shadow, of pain body, whatever you want to call it, all of that just becomes more fuel for my awareness, for my consciousness for my presence, or presence. <laughs> okay. Tell me about this Ace of Wands in reverse. This is very interesting. There's, there's a swarm of energy here. It's like bees buzzing. And they're going somewhere. Oh, okay. We got a card that's fallen out. The sun. And what's on the bottom? The high priestess. Dead. It's time for the shadows to be illuminated. Everything. <sighs> the false self has caved in and is falling away so that the truth can be revealed. Truth is always healing. Truth always feels good when we don't resist it. When we resist the truth, it hurts because we're resisting. That's where the suffering lies. It's not in the seeing of the truth. It's not in the revealing of the secrets. Coming out of the shadows, revealing the truth, learning the truth, that's always a positive experience. It's just our resistance to it that 
can create the sensation of suffering. But it's all just, it's being laid bare, stripped, stripped away. Something is making intuitive sense as well. What's red with the sun? Yeah, it's just, I keep getting this void, this empty, this cavernous kind of energy. And also the sense of, of again, we didn't specifically take action. This just happened. This is just being revealed. This is this is interesting. Um, it, it's it's a, it's pushing us into surrender, too. Okay. Yeah. I, <laughs> Queen of Cups and Magician. There's a lot of intuition here. We we want to. Hmm. We want to change the way that we express, that we address emotion. Something is being shown to us in a, a deeply spiritual, intuitive way. There's a, there is a powerful internal aspect to this. I want to know about this space. Tell me about the space. What's in between this Ace of Wands and this, the Knight of Swords? What, what happens? Okay, I got a card jumping out already. The base, the base energy is a big change. Yeah, some, yes, something happened. Yes, I get that. What happened? <sighs> Fucking. It, I love the universe. It's, it's being cheeky. It can't say, it, it's just, it, something deeply internal this powerful internal change something revealed within it's like a glimpse beyond the veil again there is no veil <laughs> the veil is perception once we realize there is no veil in your perception you become conscious that all that is here and now is here and now there all that is is here and now all that ever was and all that ever shall be is here and now. There's nothing that goes anywhere. Nothing is ever lost. It all continues to exist here and now because that's, there's nowhere to go. <laughs> there's nowhere else. There's no then or there. It's all right here, right now. <sighs> it's, it's, it's so mysterious. It is like everyone receiving some sort of download, actually. Just a direct infusion of understanding. What else? Yeah, the Queen of Cups. It... Intuition. Yes, powerful emotion, powerful influx of emotion, absolutely. The heart chakra being opened by the energy is what's allowing these messages to get through. It's, it's allowing the higher self, the inner self, to speak. And there's just this understanding that emotion is important. Emotion wants to express. There is this heightened emotional intelligence. So much blue throat chakra, just wanting to, to speak this out. Okay. That's all I'm going to get. This is very, yeah, it's all divine timing. It's all just energy being aligned. It's, it, this is a big piece. And it does not have an, as much to do with external events as just the light bulb turning on, something clicking, something suddenly we get it. We, we see it. We're seeing from that different perspective. We're being shown a different perspective. Okay, tell me about this Knight of Swords then. Why is the Knight of Swords here?
King of Pentacles. True balance is found in the flow. It's, it's a getting away from this, the material life, from associating stability with the pentacle, with, with physical form, with something that's physically tangible. Uh, and form includes emotion, so emotional stability, quote unquote, which for most of modern society really means repression of emotion, stagnation of emotion, which is not stability. <laughs> it's tension. It is resistance. It creates only suffering. What's on top? Temperance. Yeah. It's time to flow. It just makes sense to do this. Something just... Something clicks emotionally and it makes sense why it's all been happening the way that it's been happening. Because we've, we've been holding it back. We've, we've been holding ourselves back, our own flow. We've been out of the flow of life, which is us. And it's time to go. It's time to make a change. We're just sort of being carried there. Whether our feet are taking us there or not. This is, this is very interesting. Yeah, it, it's like, you know, this guy's been standing out there looking where he wants to go for so long. It's like this piece of land just detached. And whether or not he really realizes it, he's floating towards it. He's moving towards it now. Which really is how it works. When you surrender to the flow, there's no effort. You're just, you let it carry you. You flow with the go. <laughs> there's no real doing on your part. If there is any action step to be taken, it will present itself and be immediately obvious. You will take the action. The action will be largely without effort because you're moving with the energy. It requires very little doing on your part. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. This is a very... It's very mysterious energy, <laughs> the Hermit. Virgo influence, certainly. The soul is awake. The soul is flowing. The soul is kind of just, it's just flowing around. It is flowing around everything. It's flowing around the fear. It's revealing the fear. It's, it's almost like anesthetizing <laughs> internally. And the fear just doesn't matter, which is the way that it works. When you can expand your perspective to that place, you recognize you haven't eliminated fear, but fear has transformed. It's still there, but because of your allowance of, of it, <coughs> excuse me, being there, and your awareness that it is not you, and it doesn't actually mean anything, it doesn't have to change. It just no longer affects you. It's just there. And then fear itself, even though you didn't do anything to it, transforms. It takes on a different hue, a different cast. The experience of it is different and ultimately just irrelevant. That Five of Swords again. Again, this is an important card. I want to pull more on that. So, well, we're doing it right now. We got it all wrong. The soul knows. The soul knows, yes, we've been operating from this false perspective. And it is from this false perspective, this identification with the mind-made self, that we have built a life. 
and it is a life that we no longer want. That is not victory. It, it, it's not what we want. And that's been very painful. It's been really hard to face that. It's very painful when you are still identified with the ego for ego <laughs> to see this isn't what I want, actually. But there's just, there's this gap. The soul has wedged itself in the crevice here and created a dissociation from that false self, just enough space where this can be witnessed and realized and the pain of it is not so intense because it's just the resistance of looking at this, the unwillingness to look at this, the resistance of it that creates the suffering. When you stop resisting it and just let it be, it doesn't actually hurt. It's just, a, it's just information. It's just, oh, this isn't it. So I, I move towards what feels right. This doesn't feel right. I move towards what does. I just let this go. When you're not attached to it, there's no pain in the release of it. Yeah, liberation. There's a liberation from, from attachment happening. When we step the consciousness back from identification with ego, when we're not attached to ego, we're not attached to the things ego is attached to. And then ego can continue feeling attached, but we're not attached to ego, we're not identifying through it, and so to us it actually doesn't matter. Ego can continue to have whatever experience it's having, having, happening, <laughs> the happening, but it is ultimately irrelevant. It just, it doesn't shake or disturb us. And so then we can move towards what feels right, even as ego is screaming. <laughs> It doesn't matter. It, you are, you're in the state of surrender. It doesn't affect you. It cannot touch you. I want another for this. Tell me about this. I'm going to shuffle again. Just give me one more for the Five of Swords because this keeps coming back. This is an important energy here. This Five of Swords. Tell me about this Five of Swords. Um... Why, just, why do you keep throwing me this? Knight of Pentacles, it's been a holdup for a long time. This is the main lesson, seeing this. Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Pentacles, Pentacles, Pentacles. The life we've built around us is not the life that we want. It's not, it's not been based on soul. It's been based on ego. Ego is not the true self. When you build a life based on ego, it's not your life. It's not the life you want. It's the life that ego built. It's the life that feels safe and is very small and limited and ultimately fearful and constantly in threat. <laughs> There's a realization of this, of how small we've made our world and how small the ego-built life is, how small the ego self, the false self is, how small, how limited, how lonely, how afraid, how unfun, <laughs> unfun it is to be identified as that. But it's, it's getting through. Yeah, justice. This is just the soul is getting through. The devil, the hermit, revealing this. The soul energy is surpassing the ego energy and revealing to itself, hey, this isn't what you want. <laughs> this, this ain't it, chief. And even though ego is writhing against that, consciousness is is greater it's the awareness is sticking more than ever before it's getting through higher messages are just they're getting through they're flowing around flowing around the mind flowing around the ego it just feels right 
it's creating this gap between the false self and the true self and, and kind of just yeah anesthetizing the resistance the resistance just isn't there i get five of wands energy too in terms of just it's a very weak it's it's all falling apart the self-sabotage is falling apart Ooh, I, got, I got cards falling apart here okay we're shuffling on justice now tell me about justice queen of wands yeah we're done with this we're done with the defensiveness it is realizing i i've had this wall up i've had this wall up everything that i want i've pushed away yeah. everything that i want i've pushed away including myself okay yes yeah it's card of the soulmates for sure there's also contract energy here big time big time with justice and the two of cups i've been yeah i've been pushing away myself death It's time for a new day to dawn. It's time for this old false self, the, the superficiality, the ego made self to be released. You don't kill ego by your lack of identification with it, by your awareness that you are consciousness and not the ego and letting it be what it is, letting it just play itself out it dissolves four of wands there's more here too uh, yes and and this is the way to balance and the way to quieting the mind again you don't shut down the mind you don't lose the mind you you loosen it you loosen your grip on it and it loosens its grip on you you stop trying to control it you stop identifying with it and just watch it and it no longer has this power over you. You're flowing. You just flow around it. It can do whatever kind of crazy loop-de-loops and somersaults that it wants. It doesn't affect you. It doesn't change your stability, your well-being, your balance. In another level, in a big way here, I mean, I can't ignore that there, there's, there's divorce and marriage energy here. Uh, there's termination of contract of some sort of superficial connection whether or not that's with a physical other person or not not specifically important but it is a divorce from a way a long-term way of being and behaving within the self most likely also with others because as within so without it's just it's something is dissolving it is dissolution yeah knight of wands queen of swords it's it's an end an end is something that's kept us stuck for a long time okay i'm doing my best to interpret express as I feel it and what feels the most pertinent there's there's a lot here it feels like I could continue to dig into this but I'm gonna move to the nine of pentacles and the hierophant why is this here final outcome I mean the final outcome is liberation spiritual liberation liberation from the box from some long-standing Thing, way of being because it just makes emotional sense and that's really what the liberation is about there's that tower there's the tower yeah and this car these this position should be read with the first position in between these two first positions 
the Ace of Wands in reverse, and the Knight of Swords. It felt like a tower. Something. Something big. Something fell down. Something fell apart. And it, that Ace of Cups is flowing as a result of it. And it has to do with this Ace of Cups erupted, burst, blew the tower to pieces. It, ca it caved in. It is more of that just like collapse energy. And underneath there's this flowing, open expression. Something long-term, something long-term that came to an end. Something that once represented balance, stability, and is revealed to be the opposite. Uh, we're walking away from it, or it's, it's being walked away from us. <laughs> Why? Because it's time to let it go. Because we, what we cling to clings to us but the universe is just it's it's helping remove this with the tower at the bottom it's time for that to end it's time for that to stop I gotta move my leg buddy I'm sorry my foot's falling asleep I know boy it's time to be liberated from fear from this control energy I mean this is the, that's the controlling energy whatever you try to control controls you It feels like, in some way, this is getting through. Or that element, that thing that we've been trying to control, just breaks loose. It just, it's revealed in, a, in an obvious way, somehow, that it's not within our control. That all of the effort, all of the time spent trying to hold on to this thing, to manipulate it, to force it into place, has not done anything. <laughs> It is not within your power, and all you've been doing is giving it power over you. It's going anyway. It doesn't matter how many times you tried to reinforce the tower, you tried to keep it up with your own bare hands and brute force pushing against it. This tower comes down. And you realize you never had any power in the first place. It was all an illusion. It was always going to do what it was going to do you were just feeding into this this fruitless power struggle just creating suffering for yourself instead of just letting it be you realize trying to fight a hurricane <laughs> is pointless trying to fight against nature the universe is pointless resistance is futile it always is there is no point in resisting what what's gonna happen happens and it's not ever as uncomfortable or bad as, in terms of experience, unpleasant to experience, as we think it is. It's just our building it up and our resistance to it and our, our clinging that generates the experience of pain, of suffering. Once we just let it go, lean into it, accept it, it's all really okay. We realize it didn't matter what happened. It didn't, it didn't matter. <laughs> What mattered is that we let go. Because when we let go, we allow things to flow. We, re we step back into our own power. That feels good. We are in alignment with ourselves, embodying our true authentic self. That feels good. We're allowing life, which is us, to express freely through us and witnessing it each moment. That feels good. <laughs> We're allowing energy to flow. As energy flows, it naturally balances itself. That feels good. All of the good feeling is right there. All it takes to feel good is to stop fighting, is to stop resisting what is and start embracing it. That's it. That is, that's all it takes to feel good is to let the tower fall. Let it happen. <laughs> is to step back from ego, stop fighting it, step back from mind, stop fighting it, and to let it be, to stop resisting it, to stop pushing it out of your experience. It's a part of experience. It is a part of the now. It is a part of the self. And it desires to be, and it is right to be. And you embodying the true authentic self, your pure observant awareness, simply allow an experience. And 
celebrate the isness of all that is, including mind, including ego, including all form, thoughts, and emotions. They're right to be. They have no other meaning other than to be in that moment. That's it. Everything else just flows. It takes care of itself. You are carried along in this stream. This current of well-being is unending. It is so steady and so sure. You cannot buck it. And when you just lean into it, you release, you allow it to take you, it takes you. <laughs> and it just carries you up and up and up. That is the meaning of living in divine providence. gonna take that fool off all right final three cards then we'll get out of here three cards and a crossing card anything else you want to say beautiful universe anything else you want to say this is this is interesting else you want to say I'm shuffling I'm shuffling okay king of pentacles at the bottom what's under that knight of pentacles this was always gonna happen it, <laughs> what happens happens it, it was always gonna be what's on top the hanged man starting to see that it was always gonna be like this That you can't know what eight broken cups look like until you've seen something else. And that nothing is wrong. Nothing has gone wrong in this process. There's nothing wrong with seeing this. There's nothing wrong with realizing this. We had to experience both. Without the illusion, there is no enlightenment. Without the knowing of unwanted with clarity, we cannot know wanted with clarity. Nothing went wrong. There's nothing wrong here. These cups are not bad. They're just, they're old. They're not vibrationally accurate anymore. They're, they're just not for us anymore. They're a stepping stone. And it's time to step away. It's time to step away, yeah. The world and the hanged man, my goodness. This is, it's, it's a reversal of perspective. It, it's, it's very much new perspective, but it is things just being flipped upside down. It's like the world twisting the frame. We've spent so long looking at it the same way and not getting the picture. And it's like the, the universe just shifts it and goes here let me show you <laughs> let me show you what you're missing like one of those i don't know i spy books or the the optical illusion images where it's like do you see it do you see the blah 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 and we've been looking at it and we we haven't seen it and finally the universe is just taking a red pen and drawing a circle around it and saying look there it is you see it now there it is i'm showing you directly it's right there it's plainly obvious and there's there is just this space. The soul is awake. The soul is seeing this. The soul is witnessing ego. It's, it's consciousness, not ego, that is recognizing this. And when you're in the space of consciousness and not identified with ego, you see this as what it is. You see this for the information. These aren't bad cups. They're not wrong cups. They're just not your cups. They're just not the cups that you want. That's it. That's totally fine. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with them. And it's, it's wonderful to have this experience to realize that. You have to have the contrast to get clarity on your desire. That's the way it works. There is nothing wrong about that. We had to have the contrast of emotional repression to really understand why that's not what we want to do. 
without calling it bad or wrong, without saying that it's wrong to repress your emotions, even, even to say that it's dangerous, without using any of those words. We're just realizing, oh, this doesn't feel good. This, this doesn't feel right to me. It doesn't feel good. It's not what I want. And I wouldn't know that without having had this experience. I wouldn't know that I want so much to express and flow my emotions, the emotions that I experience, if I hadn't done some of the opposite. In fact, if I hadn't done a fair amount of the opposite <laughs> and gotten myself to this point where I've, I've reached the break. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to hold it in anymore. I want to let it go. I want to let it out because that feels good. And now I understand how and why it feels so good. And then I, get, I just make the choice to do that. It's not a complicated choice. It's not an indictment of anyone or anything. It's just the choice to follow what feels good. And I can't know with clarity what feels good until I know with some degree of clarity what does not feel good. <laughs> That's it. That's the whole message. There's a lot here. Uh, I'm, I'm leaving it at that. This resonates powerfully with me. I'm encouraged. I mean, I'm not worried about anything. Everything is happening as it should happen. All is as all should be. Any resistance to what is is insanity and just generates suffering. I desire peace. <laughs> I desire to flow with this, even if the universe just, the universe as we know it, just collapsed everything would be fine we are fine consciousness continues the unmanifested which we are is eternally safe and well and stable and good so nothing really matters but it is all sacred and beautiful to witness this resonates powerfully with me i do intend that it resonates with you if so i would love to know or if not <laughs> i'd like to know that too let me know. Leave me a comment, like, subscribe if you feel so inclined. Just breathe and flow with it. Let be what bees. If ego is having an emotional experience, honor that. Witness that. Embrace it. Accept it. It is not wrong. Let it flow. Give it a place at your table. Give it portion, your attention, your love, your devotion. You're not identified as it, with it, but you're there with it, you're present with it, you're allowing it to flow, you're bearing it witness, you're giving it a free open space to express in, holding a neutral, non-judgmental, safe space within and without, because ultimately all ego is the same. There's no your ego and my ego, it's just ego. It's just mind made self. It's its own big ball of energy. Let it be. That's all I have. It's a beautiful day. I hope you enjoy it. You deserve to. And just know that always and always, in every vector of time and space, you are divine. You are supported and adored by the universe. Nothing has gone wrong, nor could it ever possibly. Everything is here and now. All of the love, all of the peace, all of the joy, all of the abundance and stability. It's all right here, right now. Available, accessible in each and every now moment. And oh yeah, I love you. <laughs>